Hello everyone, it's Rigi here, and let us watch Death Battle. Amy Rose versus Ramona Flowers, and of course, click here to see the official release. Support them, because they're amazing, and honest to God, they're just amazing. And of course, um, just for this one, just for this one, I also recommend to watch Game Attack. They're also really good people. I really feel like they're getting hate that's not really necessary. I still like it. I find them really good. So I recommend to support them too. So anyway, let's watch this. But who do I think is going to win? <sighs> Ramona Flowers. Because I don't like it. Yes, this is 100% a bias sort of thing. I know that's something a lot of people don't like. I know, trust me, I know it from from Hercule versus uh, Dan. But I'm just making, I'm just, I'm just saying right off the bat. So there's no mistake for this time, like if there was. I just don't like Amy as a character. I don't. I just really, really don't. And I like Scott Pilgrim as the world. I I like Ramona. I like Ramona better than Amy. So there's my reasoning. I just don't like Amy. I would gladly like to see her die if possible. Although, I'm not going to lie, there's a part of me that makes me believe she's going to win, not because, just because um, I, I know some things about her that could turn her into her favor. She's fast, she has the invisibility from Sonic 06. So, <coughs> so yeah, there's a chance she might be able to win. Which makes me sad, because I don't want her to win. But you never know, death battle could surprise me. Alright, without further ado, let's watch. Alright, let's see where this is going to go. As the old saying goes, mm -hmm. behind every great man is a badass woman with a big hammer. Something like really? that. Really? And today's combatants are exactly Wait, what the hell is that? What, could go what the hell's wrong? movie is Baby that? Rose. Sonic the Hedgehog's number one fangirl. And mm. Ramona Flowers, the girl of Scott Pilgrim's dreams. He's Wiz yeah. and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job oh, to it's analyze probably 2D their spray, weapons, right? armor, and skills to find mm. out who would win a death battle. Yeah, it is 2D sprites. I wonder how this is going to go, though. Young Amy Rose first heard of the adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. <sighs> Immediately obsessed. Yeah. Well, most rabid fangirls would stalk him online. Hey, Arnold. Shrine in their closet. Amy dialed her crazy up to eleven. Uh -huh. I guess you could say she was hooked on Sonics. Huh? Um. Throw up in my mouth a little bit. That was so bad. Well, it was that actual ad campaign? Face -face, Not really good. Amy decided that the best option was to learn how to read tarot cards. <laughs> what? Of course. Hey, the lady what? She that really do that? Down. After lots of practice, one what? reading finally predicted she would meet the blue blur on the mysterious what? little planet. Um. And she did meet him. Well, after she was kidnapped by the evil Dr. Eggman and used his bait to lure um. Sonic into a trap. But hey, first she really learned tarot cards just for the sole purpose. That's true, or we certainly wouldn't be working together. <laughs> what? So I forgot my pants. I'm <laughs> it happens to <laughs> us all. No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> meeting Sonic wasn't Offering. Despite her young age and inexperience, she made it her cousin to rob the hedgehog. To a part of huh. his freedom fighting Who's those Rob? So Amy spent some time building a badass set to convince her that she was. Hero, she'd be a valuable boxer, and girlfriend. It actually <coughs> wouldn't take long. By but, running after yeah. Sonic, her sheer will and determination let her reach the super speed she needed to chase him yeah. down. That's, That's terrifying. So Even terrifying and casual speed sits at about 765. That's so terrifying in so many extra ways. Extra terrifying. Tell yes. me about it. Apparently, she tapped into her innate hedgehog speed gene, which then, is a thing. What? Where the hell they got this? I have no idea. <laughs> <Don't, laughs> I mean, have you seen what? real hedgehogs run? They're not all that fast. Oh, but they're adorable though. Her feet, adorable hedgehogs. Except Avery guy. Charge up speed with the spin dash and even turn herself invisible. Right, yes, by concentrating her energy, Amy can somehow cloak her entire body from view. Except a shadow. Right, she's obsessive, fast, and can turn herself into <laughs> It's like the Sonic Gods made the ultimate uh, stalker. Yes. But she still hasn't learned how to hide her shadow. Yeah. That might be uh, even scarier. But what really gives <laughs> Amy an edge is her signature weapon, the Pico Pico Hammer. Pico Not Pico. It's yes, actually it based on the Japanese children's toy of the same name. Really? Yeah, well, this weapon would be totally <laughs> stupid if it didn't create tornadoes! 
That's right, it can create a pink vortex to throw at Amy's enemies. She can really? also use oh. the Pico Pico Hammer to double jump or spin through <coughs> Wait, the what? like a helicopter. Oh yeah, well and I know if that. If she loses it, she can somehow magically summon a new one out of thin air. Really think you're moving on too mm. fast from the whole tornado thing, Wiz. Tornadoes! From the hammer! Hamnado! <laughs> After all was said and done, Amy yeah. became good enough to join Sonic's squad, becoming a valuable member. Uh, of the team. I'm not talking as much because I still don't like the character. The power of a 25-foot-tall metal machine. She dazed the Iron King, a guy who can tank laser fire from an army, and once threw her hammer hundreds of feet into the air yeah. to knock Dr. Eggman's ship out of flight. She survived a one-on-one -on -one match against Knuckles, where she was crushed by a boulder over twice her size. And even more impressively, mm -hmm. she once wiped out half of an entire robotic invading force all on her own. She may be powerful, but she still has some growing up to do. Amy is Tell a me. tween girl. She's tween. pretty immature sometimes, rushing into action without thinking. Like when she was mind controlled by Justin Beaver. Justin Beaver. <laughs> really? Yes. Yep. He's a <laughs> mind controls girls through the power of repetitive and uninspired music. <laughs> Jesus. But the wow. most important thing to take away from all of this <laughs> is that once Amy Rose sets her mind to something, she will get it done. No matter what. Keep your rotten robots away from my Sonic or you're gonna be sorry! Um. Okay, everyone with flowers. I'm much more talkative for this, Spark. She was immediately... <coughs> just wanted to do her own thing, delivering mm -hmm. packages for Amazon Canada. But Scott yeah. couldn't get her out of his I wonder if that's actually a real job. Literally in no his way. mind. Which is weird. I'd actually, I kind of think Ramona's way of delivering packages would be way cooler than real life if Amazon Canada was that way. I'm a little upset. Like, there's nothing really... I mean, like, um, Amy has more stuff to go off of and Ramona does not. But there was just one little, somewhat dangerous catch to it all. You see, if Scott won you have to defeat my seven evil exes to date me. He had to battle and defeat Ramona's seven evil exes. <laughs> God, screw that. That's way too much work. I don't care how hot she is. Find a new one. Luckily I for saw Scott, her. he did not have to fight them all alone. As Bart Ramona says. isn't your typical damsel in distress. Yeah, she's a badass. She's strong, tough, and damn good on a pair of rollerblades. She's yeah, I always wondered how was that even possible. From to swords, uh, I really want to play Scott Pilgrim. That sounds like it's a fun game to play. And her giant hammer. It might look plain to you, but when Ramona wields this sledge, even Gundam robots fall to pieces. What? It yeah. also gives her a plus two bonus against girls. Plus two. That doesn't sound very impressive. Wait, what that was this? Sure, it's a tiny number, but in yeah. context, all power-ups in Scott Pilgrim's world use small numbers for big changes. So it's actually not that bad. Well, I way, really went, what does that even mean, though? In her purse. How the hell do women do that? I don't know. The and first episode you were saying get her a purse. Stick, it's her subspace I don't know. suitcase. It may seem like an ordinary bag, but it's actually a door to an extra dimensional <laughs> hammer space. Where did she get it? This subspace is a series of pocket dimensions available to certain people through extra dimensional doorways. <laughs> dimension in a bag, got it. It's more Dimin of a doorway, and the dimension it leads like to is inside Kirby. Except handheld Kirby. She can even control this particular pocket of space with her emotions. Jesus, what the hell were these writers on? Heroin. <laughs> Seriously? By that I mean a strong female protagonist. Hey oh, what's with you today? Oh, <laughs> that was a pun. And weapon oh, like okay. Scott likely would have never succeeded in defeating uh. Alexis. <laughs> like when she fought Roxy, her ex from her sexy face. <laughs> Roxy is strong enough to knock Scott so hard he smashed several steel eye beams, mm. which would need at least three thousand pounds of force. And Ramona's taking hits and sex with <coughs> this superpowered chick, no problem. She's also got many years of experience mm. under her belt. Even That's when she was really. just around 12 years old, she could fight off an entire army of older jocks all at once. That's she's strong not... enough to send people flying dozens of feet through the air with a smack of her hammer. And she's so fast and nimble on her rollerblades, she can keep up with ninjas. Man, this chick's Half ninja, it says. Don't get too starry It's not really that impressive. Ramona has her fair share of problems. For example, the only reason Ramona has so much control over her subspace in the first place is because one of her exes infected her with the glow. Ah, the, what? the glow, huh? <coughs> That's a rough one. The I'm glow? Wait, really? What? You have an energy field which turns your own emotions against you? Oh. Uh, 
Yeah, yeah, that's what I am. <laughs> completely unrelated, note whiz. How long should one's genitals normally, um, glow in the dark? <laughs> exactly zero seconds. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, it's a good thing I don't have that problem, then. But roller coasters of emotions aside, Ramona is one hell of an ass-kicking girlfriend. Any man would be lucky to get with. I think you need a doctor. Well, then Gideon best get his pretentious ass up here, because I'm about to kick yours out of the Great White North. Great White North. I mean, North. All right, the I don't, I feel like I wasn't set. talking that much this entire thing here. For all. But first, if you're yeah. one of those I feel like I wasn't talking that much, and I feel bad for that. I have some great information for you. Uh, I still. You know. Oh my God, this ad again. Can you at least make it different every single time you have it out? I still think Amy might win because she has more to go off of. my existence to fast food sugar addiction. Thankfully, Blue Apron changed all of that. I don't know, like, Amy still has more to go off of, and while well, Ramona does sound very interesting, it doesn't sound as great as Amy's. Meal comes with an easy step by step recipe for 40 minutes or less. This chicken stir fry only took about 20. Check out this week's menu to get your first Let's just see, um. With free shipping by going to Blue Apron. I still, I'm, I'm keeping my fingers crossed for Ramona. I, I know, I know. It's it's biasness, okay? It's bias. I I just don't like her. I'd rather have Amy lose. Slash battle. But right now, it's for a death battle. Uh huh. All right. I'm still wondering what the whole th what this whole thing is going to be about anyway. I know they're going to be. But why are they fighting? Do, are you giving us a reason? Oh, cool. What the? Oh. <laughs> okay, well, is Scott's knocked out. What? What? Wait, what? Wait, why? Why are they fighting? Why? No real reason? This is Scott Pilgrim's background, that's so cool. Oh. Uh. Are they changing locations? Well, I mean, like. Wait, what? She can just pull that out. <laughs> um, is this all in a Scott Pilgrim location? That's kind of cool, really. I like how Ramon is always smiling. It's kind of cute. What? What? What's she doing now? Oh, she's in the bag. Is she? Oh. Wait, what? Oh, she's put her in the bag? Mario Kart. What the hell? Wait. Okay, I might be a little bit behind everything, so I'm not sure I get this. This doesn't look like it's the end for her, though. Oh. Uh. Tornado? Ah, oh, shit. What the hell? Huh? She destroyed the bag! What does she do? What does she do? Well, I mean, I mean, technically, yes, that means Ramona. Oh boy. Sorry, Ramona, bye. What's Scott? Poor Scott. Um. I get this is. I get Sir Dad. Ah, uh, this. Oh well. Get on! I like music though, it's interesting. Alright. Oh, okay then. Well, well that's tragic. Game over. <laughs>
I have. Ramona may have been the smarter and more level-headed of the two, but Amy just had the edge in almost every other category. Uh -huh. Ramona can skate faster <coughs> than most, but Amy's fast enough to keep up with Sonic. To be clear, she's definitely not as fast as Sonic, but she's certainly capable of catching up to him at times. Ramona stood no chance in the speed department, so she had to rely on her skill and strength. While they both had similar strength feats like defeating giant robots or whacking people a huge distance with their hammers, Amy's feats go several steps beyond anything. Around. Yeah. Take Amy throwing her hammer into Eggman's ship in the sky, for instance. Given the height of the <coughs> ship and Amy's location, it's likely she had to throw her hammer at least 2,100 feet. While her hammer's exact weight is unknown, its head is large enough to be compared to the biggest sledgehammer ever used by man, which was 64 pounds. In order to hit Eggman's ship as hard as she did, she must have thrown her hammer with two tons of force at bare minimum. Hmm. And we're really lowballing that. <laughs> the first uh, really low one made the ship spin over, putting it way higher than two tons. Yeah. Ramona at her best could take a hit from Roxy, who can dole out Animax up to one and a half tons of force. Hmm. Whereas Amy survived being crushed by a boulder, which, scaled to her height, weighed at least uh, four tons. Yeah, Ramona whoopee. gained an advantage when she brought the fight to her subspace first mind. But when Ramona's ex Gideon was trapped in that subspace, he was able to escape by destroying her bag. As Amy is stronger and faster than Ramona, there's no reason to believe she couldn't do the same. And with Ramona's last trump card out of commission, all Amy had to do was finish her off. Looks like Amy rose to the occasion. Uh, the winner whatever, is Amy Rose. Just... I'll applaud. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna be upset. I'll just be. Whatever. All right. What's this one now? Uh, building collapsing. Do I know these people? Hulk. Oh yeah, right, you only show us the first character. Hulk is next, and who's he gonna be fighting? You can find out by sticking to our Instagram okay. this time. That's official screw attack, so go check that out. If you guys haven't heard, we launched a whole new channel. It's a totally separate initiative. It's called Game Attack. Mm -hmm. You should go subscribe. I am. That's a, it's a nice channel, I like That's it. Yeah. Alright everyone, that was the death battle and Amy won. I'm not happy. I'll accept it. Whatever. I am gonna admit, I'm not, <coughs> I am, I'm not gonna lie and said that there was parts of me wishing she didn't win and there was parts of me that kinda knew she was going to win. <sighs> I don't really know how to talk. I mean, the, I like the fight, I like the music. I, I thought it was really nice. Um, it's just kind of hard to support for a character you just didn't like in the first place. For Hercule versus Satan, I didn't like Hercule, and I, it's just hard to support someone you don't like. And I understand that a lot of people don't like biased views on videos, and I get, I get, but it's just hard because there's so many characters, there's gonna be definitely be ones you don't like. I don't like Amy, I don't like Hercule, those are just, and those happen to be fighters. Um, and they just both happen to win, too, so there's nothing that's really stopping me or anything like that. <coughs> I don't really know how to carry on because I'm not interested in talking about Amy at all. I like the fight, I like the music. Um, I, I didn't mind the jokes, they were alright to me, and I really liked the analysis too, like, it was, it was a, it was a solid episode really to me, even though I didn't like who won. I'm not gonna say they were flat out wrong, I'm just accepting it, you know, it's just, okay, she won. Uh, look, I'm sorry I can't really add much on to, to this because I know you guys I don't know really. Actually, I really don't know you guys at all, technically. Um, because I don't. Uh, whatever. The point is, I don't know how to talk for someone I didn't like winning in the first place. Like betting. It's like asking, what did you think about your character losing in a race or something like that? Like, what's it like to lose? What's it, what, what's it like to be wrong? It's hard to describe that because you are not really into the. It's hard, okay? Oh well, I hope you enjoyed 
I don't know, the let's watch, I guess. Hit that like and subscribe button. It's because you like me, I guess. Maybe? Don't know?